Hey there, Sam. You see, I always wanted an app that can calculate distances for me. I would just set up a central location and pinpoint a few other locations and the app will simply calculate the distances to all the places that I wanted to go in relative to the central location. This app will be super useful when I'm planning for traveling. So I decided to make my dream come true by building this app. And now let me show you how the app looks like. Here's the interface and currently it's quite empty. Let's upload some location data to our app. We can upload CSV records to our app that has this kind of format. This is a CSV file that I have prepared beforehand. Most importantly, we need to have the name, longitude, latitude, address, postcode and country in our records. Now let's go back to our app and click on the upload CSV button. Wait for a while and refresh a page. And now we're presented with a map and all the location listed on the left hand side. So this app will work by having us to click on the start button, which will set the central location. And the checkboxes attached on each location are for us to select which locations that we want to calculate the distance in relative to the central location. I'll show you what I mean. So currently, New York City is my primary central location. I'll go ahead and check the other locations. As you can see, as soon as I tick the box, the app will draw a line from the central location towards the destination. And if I click on the path on the map, it will show us the travel distance and the absolute distance in relative to the central location. And now if I click on the star, it will shift the central location. And if we wait for a short while, the app will recalculate the distances and redraw the paths. You can also add a new location with the plus button up here. It will open up a new dialog box where we can enter a location name and the app will auto-complete for us. And now you might be asking me, Hey Sam, how the hell does cache involved in here? So let me show you the caching magic here. As you have noticed just now, when I reset the central location, it takes quite a while for the app to recalculate the distances and redraw the lines. This is because behind the scene, I'm instructing the app to call Google Maps Distance API to retrieve the travel distances for each location in relative to the central location. And HTTP request is slow by default. However, we can speed this up by using caching. So if I click on a central location that I have previously set, take a look at the speed. It runs faster than Usain Bolt. In comparison, if I set a new location, it is pretty slow. All right, if you want to find out how I created this bad boy, watch this series. I'll teach you everything I know about caching and queuing in Laravel, and also how to build this UI using Vue.js and Google Maps SDK. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.